Governor Elrify, but until you conclude your investigation, which is, you know, you say you're going to investigate whether or not a genocide is going on, can you categorically say that it is not happening? It is not. I don't believe there is genocide. I don't believe there is genocide. Genocide is the systematic destruction of people but because of their identity. I don't, see, I don't see that happening in southern Kaduna. They believe that they, their land is what is of value here. Which land? Which land? Kaduna State has 46,000 kilometers, square kilometers of land. Which land are they talking about? Whose land? But how do we describe, I mean, outside Kaduna State, how do we describe what's been going on, you know, within the Middle Belt region, leaving Kaduna now, homing in on, say, Binui, for instance. You talked about in that interview about, you know, what was happening in Joss as well and how Plateau State mirrored Kaduna State, as mm. it were, and the, mm. the solutions that were proffered, you know, in Kaduna State, you said you suggested to your counterpart in Plateau State, and they have worked. Mm. The Plateau has been very quiet, yes, but not so in Kaduna. Yes. Why do you think that is the case? And also not so in Benue, not so in some parts of Taraba, not so in Nasarawa State until recently. Look, each of these states have problems that are different. Okay, if you try to uh, have uh, uh, a common narrative for all of them, you'll get it wrong, okay? Kaduna and Plato are similar. I don't know about Benue. I don't know enough about Benue to give an opinion or about Taraba or anywhere else, okay? But Kaduna and, Kano, uh, and Plato, I understand, and they are similar, okay? In my opinion, at the root of the problems in both Kaduna and Kano is the indigenous settler dichotomy. That is the root of the problem, okay? Now, the reason why the plateau was easier was because it was restricted to one location, Joss. It was a Joss problem. It was not happening anywhere else. And it was a problem between the Biroms, okay, and the settler community in Joss that are mostly houses from Kano, Bauchi, and so on. So it was a much easier problem to solve. But it is the same kind of problem. Now, in southern Kaduna, it's a much larger area. There are more towns and communities involved and more ethnic groups involved but it's essentially the same problem there are settlers in southern kaduna that are mostly muslims and there are so-called indigenous that are mostly christians that is the issue and over the years they have been killing each other from 1980 and no one has been held to account. So how do you think then that this, if that is what is at the root of the prob problem, do you think that there will be some laws, for instance, in, in terms of this, in settling this dichotomy? As it were? Look, the issue of settler and indigenous dichotomy in Nigeria is a constitutional issue. Mm -hmm. Okay? I think there is need for us to move away from this issue of indigenous into more into citizenship. Okay? In Kaduna State, one of the cardinal objectives of our government is to move away from indigenous and move to citizenship around residents. If you're a resident in Kaduna, you're contributing to what we are doing in Kaduna, you have the same rights at, as everyone else. We are abolishing that in Kaduna State because we feel that we must begin to create and evolve the Nigerian citizen rather than people that think that someone that has lived in a place for 200 years is a settler just because he came from somewhere else. We all came from somewhere else. It depends on how far you go into history. This is my belief. Now, this, is the, this as I said, is the, was the problem in Jaws, okay? And it was settled. A new governor came in who was, who was not willing to take sides and sat with them, and they went through a process. Center for Humanitarian Dialogue, a Geneva-based NGO, helped through that, and we brought them to Southern Kaduna to do the same thing, and they had begun to make progress until this last outbreak in Ninte in May 2016. Okay? So we are, we are trying to address the same problem. But as I said, the one in Kaduna is different in just two respects. It's a much larger area. Many more communities are involved. Many more ethnic groups are involved. And it spanned a very long time, 37 years. The just problem is a 10-year problem. Okay. So it's easier to solve. Well, we have to take a break now. When we return, we will talk about... Uh, the Shiites and the, what their current status is as of now in Kaduna. So stay with us.
After this break, we'll be speaking with the president of the Southern Kaduna People's Union, Solomon Musa, to get his reaction on Governor El Rufai's view of his organization.